Whenever you start manually applying formatting to a command, it's important that the formatting be done on the right. And by that I mean at the end of the command line. For example, if we run get service and we ask PowerShell to format that as a list, and let's say we're only going to pick a few of the properties there, name, display name, and status. Well, that's exactly what we get, a list. And for each service, the list includes its name, display name, and status in exactly the order that we specified. But something kind of important happened there that you don't really notice. It kind of happens under the hood. Let's start by taking get service and piping it to get member. What's produced by get service is this system.serviceProcess.serviceController object. So each service is represented by one of these service controller objects. In other words, if we pipe get service to something else, what we're piping is a service controller. Okay, interesting enough. Let's go back to that format command. And let's put a get member on the end of that. What we get is completely different. Here's what happens. Get service produces service objects. Those are piped to format list. Format list consumes those service objects and instead it produces a bunch of these internal format objects. So there's one that it produced and there's another and another and another. So this set of objects is what PowerShell uses to construct the display that we would see on the screen. It's not actually useful to us as people. It's intended to be used by PowerShell internally. So the practical upshot of that is when you use a format command like this, it generally needs to be the last thing on the command line. What you cannot do is this. What I've done is I've run get service, piped those service objects to format list, piped those to convert to HTML, and piped the resulting HTML to out file. Let's take a look at that test.html file. And if you were expecting it to contain service information, then you might not be very happy with this. What we did is we took those format instructions that were produced by format list and we converted those to HTML and piped that HTML out to a file. At this point in the pipeline, we don't have services anymore. So there's really no point in piping these formatting instructions to anything else. So that's my general rule, format right. The format command, if you choose to use one, needs to be the rightmost thing on the command line. There's really only one exception, well, two. You can put out file or out printer. Both of those out commandlets are capable of accepting format instructions and using those format instructions to create either a text file or hard copy on a printer. So those two out commandlets will work with format list. Not every out commandlet does though. If we try to pipe those formatting instructions to out grid view, it says that the data format is not supported, meaning the grid view doesn't understand how to use format list. Well, okay, maybe we don't give it a list. I mean, it is a grid view. Maybe we should give it a table. Well, it still doesn't work. The point is that all of the format commandlets produce those formatting instructions, and grid view can't deal with any of them. If you want to see your services in a grid, you don't need to format them first. You just pipe them directly to that grid.